Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, it's time we get started on the market district. I was looking at it, I think I have some ideas for what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start this here. I messed with some designs for the uh, kind of tents. I think I know what we're gonna work with. This might be a little long. Let's actually cut this back one. Should be better. Perfect. So I, I did decide ultimately that we are fully committing to the tent theme. Um, I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Like I, I had said that I figured that was what we were gonna do, but th there was a little bit of me that was kind of like, well, maybe we could roll with something else. But I think ultimately, rolling with a tent type design is gonna work the best. All right, and then bring this back like four. Right there. I'm gonna need some barrels and stuff to finish the design. But let's just look at this. All right. Perfect. Fence up in the other corner too. And then we just run this down. Alrighty, perfect. Yeah, I might want to run that one less back, just in terms of depth, but we'll see. And then bring this up here, come around to a little bit of an open area. Um, we're going to want another one right here. Once again, probably hit four back. A little square shaped. Alright. Oh, I just realized it's an active game. I wasn't even thinking about it. I get so used to um, just kind of rolling with whatever time of day it is when I'm playing that I don't normally even think about what time of day it is in Minecraft. Alright. Perfect. I mostly just want to see what this is going to look like once we start getting more of these thrown in. Where's my shooters at? And I might look at some variation for the tent colors, but for now we're just going to bring the white and red strips in. I'm going to need some more white wool. Alright, perfect. The branch this front out just so that we can kind of see this. All right, bring the path down. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. The real question is branching back out over this way. Will we have room? If I do one here for boom. To then do something over here. I'm gonna have room where it would theoretically be possible, but in practice, this might not work as well back there. Let's see. Let's just slap the area down for this. And then we'll have another here since it's square. I don't have to worry about which way it's facing yet. It's square, right? I'm not crazy. I'd be wrong about that. Um, it is not. Which way do I want it facing? Because four. No, 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 no. That should be right. I just got. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I have this one square. And this one's square. But this one's not. Uh, which is probably fine. I think that actually works perfectly because I want this one to extend out this way a little more anyway. Just that way this 
all lines up cleanly. I need more stone bricks. It's fine now. Let me just quickly draw this out here. So if we then wrap this around here, we can make these multi-sided kind of on this side. And then that way this road still makes some sense a little bit. Oh, it doesn't feel too empty. And then we'll run. Well, either that, or we leave this kind of empty back here, and we put a tent, like, right here. Uh, four, so just kind of like that. Uh, three. I actually want to bring that one further just so that lines up. Something like this back here. And then we'll turn the path at this point. Perfect. We can put a tent here, one here, run them down to here where it'll then turn on this path, and probably one here too. Just to try and get as much going as possible. I'm going to slap down the tents, at least get the stone bricks down, and we'll take a look how this all looks once it comes together. Alrighty, it's not quite done. I have all of the markets named, uh, or market stands named, and then also got almost all of the red wool going back. Just need like three more blocks. It takes forever to get the wool. The, the sheep just, the, the problem is they're too far away, so they're not eating and regrowing their wool while I'm over here. So then it ends up taking quite a while. Anyway, that's not important. So then what I'm worried about right now is kind of the backdrop for these. I've grabbed a bunch of different blocks that we're going to use. Um, the looms need to be faced backwards because I want this texture on them. But um, yeah, I just kind of want to stack up different like crafting blocks and storage in the back to kind of emphasize the market feel. So I'm going to go about it slow. Just slightly randomly, put what I can down, get stuff placed in, you know. Like, I, I, I think this generally looks pretty good. Uh, let me just place that facing back. Yeah, that works. I do think whenever I have one of these, though, I basically have to have something on top of the looms. Otherwise, it looks a little weird. But, yeah, just generally something like this. It adds a little more backdrop for it, kind of fills it in. Uh, now I just have to do this for... <laughs> And hopefully get a little more wool done while I do that. But, um, yeah. All right. I absolutely love how this turned out. Let's just walk through and take a look. With all the um, stations built up, the chests, barrels, all that, I think it looks really nice mixed into this. Um, still don't have enough white wool quite to finish it yet. It, it, as I said, it takes a while, but I'll get there. Um, but yeah, with all the stations in now, and the roofs mostly done, I love how the market district turned out. I want to put a couple more items in these, you know, just more shears, fishing rods. Just, just make sure they're all filled out. And yeah, once that's done, I think it's basically perfect. Let's just see how this looks from a bit of a distance. Yeah, I mean, it's got the market district feel. Still, once again, the white wool not being quite done hurts it a little bit, but I think that looks really nice. I'm looking forward to getting to work on the next district. Although, I think everything else is going to take a lot longer than this one did, unless I end up doing a kind of garden type district. But with the, with the kind of plaza fountain stuff with the trees at this entrance. I don't know how I'd feel about doing another kind of garden district, but yeah, here we are with the market district. Oh, one last thing. I did go ahead and just connect this path here. Um, I don't know. I might come through and continue the forest themed path just out towards the gate a little bit, at least up to that point. And then I don't know. We'll, we'll see. 
I, I also might literally just leave it how it is. Like, cutting through the plains, I don't think there's need for much more than just a path. Once again, not fully sure. A little bit of decision making to still go there, but yeah, market district done. And next, probably the general residential district, which will probably be a pain to build, but we'll see. All right, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless. Bye-bye.